Hi and welcome to Gamers Web. Uh, my name's Mark and today we're going to conclude our look at the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest Part Works from a Shep Part Works and Games Workshop. Uh, that's right, we're going to conclude because this is the final issue. This is issue 80 and I can't believe that we've actually got here. Uh, it's taken a good while but we've got here. Um, firstly, before I go any further, thank you to everyone who's tuned in and supported the channel by watching these uh, videos every week. Uh, it means a lot. It really does. Um, not done bad. Out of 80 issues, I've missed two. So, and that's only because I couldn't get hold of them. Uh, so, without further ado, let's crack this last one open. Okay, so, um, issue two comes with the final part of the uh, Magnavent Walkway. And um, the end for uh, the Battle of Corvum 2. And the final part is two full sprues. Uh, I'll just show you, this is the sprue that came in uh, 79. That's that one. And then we have got these two sprues here, which is the, um, the supports and uh, the uh, angular bits that make this part of the walkway. And of course the barriers and the big skull thing, which I have no idea what it's meant to be. It looks like a crane of some description. But um, I think these are about £30. So for £15... You're not doing too bad. Well, 1598, it's not doing too bad. Okay, so um what we normally do on the um on looking at the magazines is we'll look at what's coming in next week. So obviously there's nothing coming in next week. So we flip over onto the back page and we have basically just an advertisement for Games Workshop Warhammer stores. Which um if you're still new to the hobby, um, because like being in the hobby for only a year is still pretty new, um this is the best place to go. Um, your local game stores are the best places for you to go and check things out and uh, get into the hobby and learn more and more about um, how the hobby works, how to paint, um, modeling tips, all that kind of stuff. And it's not just Games Workshop. There's lots and lots of really good game stores around there. So support your local game store if you can. Right, okay. One last time, let's jump in. Okay, so we're now looking at the Sisters of Battle, the Adeptus Cerritus. Uh, they've just been re-released after many years hiatus from Games Workshop. And um, these Battle Sisters are a um, big fan favourite. A lot of fans like the Sisters of Battle. Uh, nuns with guns, because uh, that's basically what they are. Um, they're a devout order um, that uh, worships the Emperor. And um, they've got like undying faith in um, the Emperor and um, his ways. And um, they fight alongside uh, other members of the Adeptus Soritus, uh, which is what they are, um, the Minasertum, which is what they're a branch of, and they also, uh, f they're alleged to everybody in the Imperium, and they try and hunt out heretics and what have you. And um, this is... Uh, Really, really nice Kalkopinski painting. Um, I've got this at home. It's a big, big painting. Um, I absolutely love this image. And then we've got things like St. Catherine and um, St. Celestine, sorry, and um, the limited edition sister with bolt gun that came out um, a while back. These are the first proper plastic miniatures because sisters were always in metal until recently. And um, then a quick look at some of them. The um, the miniatures really like this sister with a bald head i think that's a fantastic looking model i'm really looking forward to actually getting all of some sisters of battle soon to do some reviews on them um they have the big tank the exorcist which has got a pipe organ with uh as you can see here with a sister of battle playing devout music um as they uh attend to battle okay so how to paint your mag magnavent walkway the last issue should go to build it all these paints you've got in your collection from um, previous issues of uh, Conquest. And then it's just basically, you know, using lead belcher, then going over with Null Noil and uh, Rakaf Flesh and Retributor Armor and things like that. And then back again with Null Noil and Agrax Earth Shade and all the different things that um, help uh, your miniatures pop. And there you go. Congratulations, you are finished painting, finished mag magnavating walkway. And then we've got our final uh, mission. The rules, sorry. Um, so this is for the terrain. And then the final mission, which is uh, Plague Planet. And then the war for Corvan 2. So there's a map of Corvan 2. And then this is our final mission itself. The Noctilith Crown. And then Space Marines Victory, Exterminatus. And Death Guard Victory. The Daemon World. So basically, if the Space Marines win, they blow the planet up. 
if the Death Guard win, they turn it into a demon world. Okay, so your conquest is now complete. And here is a quick look at the last um, 70, 80 issues altogether. Uh, starting way back in August uh, 2018 with issue 1. And finishing now with issue 8 in March uh, 2020. So um, that's the end of that. But it's not the end. Because we still got Mortal Realms. Um, if you check out my latest video, I've just done Mortal Realms issue eight, um, and I'm just about to do issue nine now. And um, I'd like once again, I'd like to thank everybody who's um, supported the channel and listened to me drone on for the past seventy-eight weeks uh, about Warhammer Forty Thousand Conquest and getting things wrong and getting things right, of course. Um, one final thing on Conquest, um, I've got a couple of things that I'm going to be giving away. So stay tuned to the channel and stay tuned to Gamers Web, uh, www.gamersweb.co.uk. The link is in the description at the end and it's down, down below, down here somewhere. Uh, it's not up here, it's down here because I don't have access to that kind of stuff. I'm not that, that savvy. And... Um, We've also got um, we've got one of the limited edition art books to give away, uh, which I'm going to do in a wee competition, and um, at some point, I still got issue one of Mortal Realms to give away, which I meant to do last month, but due to a bereavement of the family, never got around to doing it, and um, that's about that. Um, if you're new to gaming, carry on. It's great. It's good fun. I've been doing this for forty. 47, 48 years now. I've been a miniature gamer for 50 years, almost. Uh, starting back when I was a small boy with my grandfather playing with toy soldiers. And it's a good hobby. It's expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's a good, fun hobby. Right, as always, I've been Mark. And once again, thank you for tuning in to Gamers Web. Have a great day.